Good afternoon, everybody. That's right. Roy will be Roy. He's coming back at you from the lovely Las Vegas, Nevada. Time is currently whatever time you're watching this video. And temperature here in Vegas is uh, roughly I think 90 degrees right now, maybe. A little bit less. But yeah, I, I, when I said on my, on my on back, I'm coming back video, I said I'm going to tackle other things that are happening in the world. So as you can see by um, the video um, title, War on Police. Okay, as you guys know, I, I'm not a bootlicker. Um, I don't support everything Popos do. Um, but they are a necessary evil that's out here today. And um, there's this thing that there's this little war on police. That everything the police are doing are wrong. Uh, let's grant it. You're going to have bad apples in any industry. And, that, and even with the Popos. Um, the only difference when it's a bad popo is bad things happen to either you or, you know, your family member, whatever. Um, if they lie, they make up shit, whatever the case may be. I'm not attacking the police. I'm just saying this shit happens. Let's face it. Um, we see plenty of YouTube videos about it. So, um, there's no denying that. Yeah, you got a lot of bad apples out there, and but you got some very good apples out there that do, do it the right way. And, um, now we have this war on police, um, because people are being shot and, um, well, here, let me tell you something. Um, if, if you don't want to get shot by police, um, you don't want to get your face stomped on by police, um, you want to go home at the end of the day uh, to your family, stop resisting the police. You're never going to win that fight. They got Batman belts full of shit. The minute you start resisting them that they're going to fucking use on you um, that they need to, to, to stop the problem. Don't pull a gun on a fucking popo. Um, that's asking to be shot. If you pull a gun on an average citizen who's carrying a gun, they're going to pull theirs and shoot you too. So it's no fucking different. Um, but this whole war on police, you got these celebrities, you know, making good money out here talking about, oh, bad police. But yet they, they get escorted by police wherever the fuck they go. That makes a lot of sense, right? Um, you got all these other people that, oh, they're killing my kids. They're doing it. No, your kids are fucking resisting arrest. They got warrants. All these, oh, my kid is so beautiful, such a grade A student. But yet they got warrants for their arrest. They're trying to fucking stab people on fucking right in front of the fucking police. But yet these are just, you know, great kids um, out there causing fights and um, middle of the fucking morning, you know, shooting their guns off in neighborhoods and, you know, trying to stab other people and, you know, running from the police because they got fucking warrants. And uh, you, you, come on, you got you guys got to be fucking serious um, that all oh, this is all the police. fault. no, it's your fucking parents fault. For not fucking taking care of their kids properly and not doing what they need to do with their kids. And it's the, the people in general whose fault it is that um, have these bad actions happen to them. You don't, want, you don't want interactions with the police. They don't break the law. It's that simple. Don't break the law. Don't do something where the police have to be called. Plain and simple. And for all you people that uh, you know, sit here and say, oh, I don't defund the police. We don't want the police. Then quit calling the fucking police. Take care of it yourself. But you know what the problem is? Is you're all a bunch of pussies. You can't handle the situation for yourself. So you call the people that you think and know can handle the problem. But the problem is, they're the bad people. So you're you're sitting here talking about, oh, we can't defund the police. We can't have the police. But yeah, you're the ones calling them when you need them. Why don't you take care of your fucking self? Leave the police alone. Call the police when you need to clean up the mess. Because, it's, uh, because if you're going to sit here and want to defund the police and have a war on the police, don't call the police. That makes you a fucking idiot. That makes you a hypocrite. It's only good for when they're only good for when you need them. So do us all a favor. Quit fucking this war on the police, defending the police, because you really, really, at the end of the day, you don't want you don't want a, a city or a town with no police. Like I said, having you people can't even walk out the door and see your shadow without pissing your pants because you're a bunch of pussies. You don't even know the first situation to handle. You can't even handle your fucking kids. You got this fucking six-year-old getting ready to stab somebody. And the parents are standing right there and don't even know what to do. But yeah, it's the cop's fault because he popped cap in her ass to save another girl's life. That you got to, oh, he's racist. But yeah, that, that's the example they want to they wanna say. It's the cop's fault. But yet, yeah, if you could handle the situation, you wouldn't have called the cops in the first place. So that just goes to show you, you know, you can't even handle your own situations, uh, let alone, you know, you having to call the cops to do it for you. So with that being said, 
you know, get, get off this uh, war on the police bullshit. Um, if you don't want the police, don't break the law. Uh, if you don't want the police, don't call the fucking police when you have a problem. Take care of your motherfucking selves. Grow a set of nuts. You know, these men and women go out here every day. Put their lives on the line. We've seen it. I posted videos of what happens to police officers. Um, and you wonder why police officers are the way they are. Um, just just have the respect to, to at least follow their directions. Uh, whether you like them or not, at the end of the day, you're not going to win. Or you will win. Take it to court. Get paid. Because if they really fucking up that bad, get paid. Like I said, I'm not a bootlicker. I'm not saying you got to fucking bow down. But you know what? If you want to stay alive sometimes, don't, don't do the stupid shit that's going to get you shot. Don't run from them. Don't pull guns on them. Don't pull weapons on them. And uh, just do what they say. And like I said, once again, if you don't want them, then don't fucking call them when you have a problem. Take care of the problem yourself. But, like I said, all you vaginas out there scared of your own fucking shadow and you don't know how to take care of your own business or you wouldn't be calling the police in the first place. Like that, like, uh, like I've said, you are the crazy on destiny. Nobody's going to do it for you. Goodbye.